Good morning, Fall City Middle School. It is Monday, February 15th, halfway through, Fe over halfway through February. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, got lots of stuff this morning. Here we go. First of all, happy unbirthday, Emerson Courtney. It's not really your birthday, but we're going to act like it is. And on your unbirthday, Emerson, we're having lasagna roll ups, peas, carrots, applesauce, French bread, and milk. Let's see. Uh, next up, this week is, act, uh, is our act of kindness week, right? So today you should be wearing purple or pink. Be interesting to see how many of you all remembered to do that over the long weekend. But uh, the purple and pink represent positive attitude all day. Uh, tomorrow is camo day slash superhero t-shirt day, aka every other day at Fall City Middle School, because that's what half the school is wearing is camo or superhero shirts. Um, and that day is uh, to practice serving others throughout the day. On the 17th, which is Wednesday, wear funky eyewear and practice being non-judgmental in words and actions. Each student will receive a bingo card first thing in the morning. Go outside your normal circle of friends and perform acts of kindness from your bingo card. Return your card to your homeroom at the end of the day and you can win a reward. There'll be a drawing for that prize. On Thursday, the 18th, uh, we will wear orange and black and practice standing up for each student and staff member day. Next week, we will start with the wheel of semi-unfortunate again. This week, we're off because we're doing uh, dressing up and all that good stuff, and we got the prize. Next week, the wheel is back. All right. Okay, A-OK -okay Art Contest ends on Thursday, which is the 18th. If you have something for them to look at, just let me know. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the T-shirt designs. I'm going to put them out um, for students. And then we'll probably vote school-wide on which t-shirt design do you think wins. But I'm still thinking about that. I'll work with Ms. Bennett. But I need your designer. Ms. Bennett needs it by February 18th. Lots of A-OK -okay shout-outs today. All right. So here we go. A-OK -okay shout-outs. This is from Ms. Hogue. She went through and we're working on the A-OK -okay, uh, winners for the month of January right now. But within that, we had nominations for teachers. So we like to list the nominations for teachers. So students put AOKs in for teachers. Here we go. I'm going to read them off. Um, Mr. Vertiska got an AOK for being awesome, nice, and a great homeroom teacher. Mr. Kraft got an AOK for saying to have a good day every day. Way to go, Mr. Kraft. Um, Ms. Boatwright, because she's nice and caring. Awesome job. Uh, Mr. Lampy. Uh, got an A-OK -okay because he liked a student's hairdo. Wonder if it was frosted lettuce. Uh, and then Mr. Bangert, uh, I got an A-OK -okay for settling down rowdy students. Well, you know, I am an expert at that. It's all right. And so all teachers are the best. So thank you, Ms. Hogue, for calculating that. And we should have our January A-OK -okay winner soon. I got my A-OK -okay of the day is going out from Miss Kennedy. Um, to a couple students in the ag class. First, she wants to give an A-OK -okay out to Austin Stewart because he gave her a note today saying, have a good day. Nice job, Austin. Um, the second one's going out to Big John, Jonathan Young. Um, she said he has just changed totally in her class, is super involved, um, had a presentation on, let's see, on it would have been Thursday or maybe it was Wednesday, I can't remember. But Jonathan did a great job. He was laughing. The students were supporting him, and we had a great conversation. Um, she says the class, her ag class, also deserves a shout out for accepting, being accepting, and talking, and making students feel welcome in the class. So, Miss Kennedy is super proud of you, Big John. So keep up the great work. So that is awesome. We love to hear that because Miss Kennedy is a visitor in our building. Her and Miss Ankrum volunteer to come here and teach ag, and next year they'll have. Ag and 4-H. So we love, 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 love to see that our visitors are super excited about being here. So that's good stuff. 
And now, for the moment that you've all been waiting for, yes, you did get another 150 acts of kindness before the end of last week. And so now it is time to spin the wheel of the unfortunate or the semi-unfortunate or whatever it is you guys call it. So give me a second while I pull up the wheel and we will see what happens. All right, you should all see the wheel now. I will tell you before I spin the wheel that this teacher who is going to suffer the consequences of the semi-fortunate wheel or whatever, I know I'm butchering the name of it because it's such an odd name. I'll just call it the wheel of fortune. Uh, is Mr. Huppert. So whatever happens, Mr. Huppert today will be rocking it. So here we go, hitting the button. Let's see, Mr. Huppert. I hope it's sing to everybody. Oh, Mr. Huppert just missed out on wearing a tutu and instead he gets a pie in the face today. So we will come and take a film of that because that will be awesome. Um, Deserving, very deserving of that pie, Mr. Huppert, for being a Lions fan. All right. So with that, I'm trying to think. That's all I have for today. Make it a great day or not. The choice is always yours. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.